Yep, that's right. I flat tow my FJ Cruiser, and I'm going to tell you how. And just to so be clear here, this is an automatic. The six-speed manuals are different. If you're into how-to videos, if you're into FJ Cruisers, if you're into RVs and traveling and adventures, be sure to subscribe because, you know, this is the stuff I do. There's probably cheaper and easier options out there than what I had done, but I got a deal, you know, had them throw it in with the uh, purchase of the RV. Worked out great. So up here we have basically a tow bar that's connected to the FJ. We've got wiring that was also wired into the FJ. Underneath the driver's seat, there's a brake controller that uh, I had installed in the FJ. It makes sure that the brakes in the FJ work. And you have the tow bar that connects into the tow hitch and you can see the wires connect into the five pin connector. You have cables here in case your tow bar breaks. It's connected to the tow hitch over here. And if your tow hitch and everything up there breaks, you've got the emergency cable right here. Make sure that, that the brakes in the FJ get engaged if it breaks off and gets, gets away from you. A little over two tons of vehicle there, you certainly don't want it rolling down the road. Nothing to stop it tow hitch thing here could be easier to undo. The key to that is just getting on a level surface and making sure you're straight. Sometimes these things can be a little hard to release. If they are, usually it's because you got tension between the FJ and the tow hitch. Release the tension by moving the vehicle into neutral or out of neutral or back and forth or whatever. Sometimes it takes two people, someone in the vehicle driving it forward and back just in uh, idle. Don't push on the gas. That would not be good. These pins go right back in. And I can take this out. Different tow bars are different. You can even get like an Expedition 1 bumper and they'll have tabs on the bumper that you can get some brackets for that will then allow you to connect to this directly. That's what I wanted to do, but this back. This isn't very easy to undo either. It takes two hands. This is the thing I find really hilarious. Is this little thing. How am I supposed to hook that onto there and make sure it stays? I mean that's <laughs> it's just laughable. And I'm gonna take this out and put it in the back of the FJ because this is going to maintenance at the dealership. And if you want to take this off, you unhook these. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm actually hooking this back up soon enough. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, this is actually me unhooking my tow bar, not actually hooking it up. So I mean, if that, that really disappoints you that I said I was, you know, showing you how to hook one up, um, just play the video in reverse, you know, you'll get it. Also came with these locks. There's a pin there, you can pull that pin out. This is connected to the frame. Pull that pin out on both sides and undo these. And this front thing will come off. It even has pins here where you can pull this off. Why it's that complicated, I don't know, but that is what it is. Or I guess multiple pieces are easier to haul around. Now with the transmission, what you gotta do is unhook the drive shaft. You can get a drive shaft coupler that you know you pull a wire under your seat and unhook it. A couple thousand dollars for one of those. You can get a transmission fluid circulation pump and have that installed onto your transmission. Turn that on while you're plateauing so that uh, things stay lubricated and you don't burn up your transmission, those are about $4,500. Or you can spend a few minutes every time you hook up and unhook and just disconnect your drive shaft, which is what I do. With a simple set of tools, all I'm using is 14 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter wrench, and some wire hangers. Four bolts to unhook here or tighten back up and some wire to keep the drive shaft up. I'll spare you the boring bolting and unbolting of my drive shaft bolts here. But there's basically four of them. There's one up here, and there's one on the other side. I like to loop my wires up around this. This pin keeps it from sliding off. 
And then there's this right here that has some holes in it. I put the hooks through there and it wraps around the drive shaft, this plate here that will turn as you're going down the road. So you wanna make sure it's not touching that and get it up there high enough that it's out of the way. I'm gonna spare you that boring stuff because I'm sure you know how to do that already. And if you don't, I would suggest spending the money on one of those other expensive options. One of these days I do hope to get a drive disconnect, but I'm not gonna pay full price for it. I'm hoping to find one used. If you or you know somebody else that would like to swap out their drive shaft because they used to tow and they don't want to tow anymore just kind of like my phone here that used to focus and doesn't want to focus anymore i'll uh, be happy to swap it out with you now that everything's done you want to make sure it's in park not neutral park and remember this is for an automatic people i know who do it with manual transmissions they don't disconnect the drive shaft they just leave it in, in uh, fourth gear at least that's what i understand but do this at your own risk don't take my word for it so leave it in park. This makes sure the transmission doesn't spin at all because those front wheels are gonna be spinning and they're still attached to a drive shaft which is still attached to the transfer case. You wanna make sure none of that's spinning. You wanna make sure the front wheels are free spinning. Putting it in park will do that for you. You gotta leave a key in the ignition. Turn it on and then turn it off so that you make sure that the steering wheel stays loose. You don't want your steering wheel locking up on you. But when you're hooking your drive shaft back up, put it in neutral so you can turn the drive shaft and line up the holes. If you found that useful, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Got more DIYs and fun trips coming up. You don't want to miss them. Hey look, it's another FJ.